the same standards as I look at all of these trade deals. But let's not assume that trade is the only challenge we have in the economy. I think it is a part of it, and I've said what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a special prosecutor. We're going to enforce the trade deals we have, and we're going to hold people accountable. When I was Secretary of State, we actually increased American exports globally 30 percent. We increased them to China 50 percent. So I know how to really work to get new jobs and to get exports that help to create more Any input on this? jobs. Burke, well, you haven't done it in 30 mm -hmm. years or 26 years. Well, any I, number you I've been to... a senator, You haven't Donald, done it. And you haven't I done have it. been a and secretary of state. There we go. Here we go. Just like a which was one of the worst things that ever happened <laughs> well, to the manufacturing opinion. industry. That is your you opinion. go to New England, you go to Ohio, <laughs> Pennsylvania, you go anywhere you want, Secretary Clinton, and you will see devastation where manufacturing is down 30, 40, some Sometimes 50 percent. NAFTA is the worst trade deal maybe ever signed anywhere, but certainly yeah, ever signed I know. In this I mean, now, yes, I know NAFTA is probably the worst trade deal ever signed ever. Unmute. Come on. Unmute. You, you said it's what? the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, no. I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the facts. The facts are, I did say I hoped it would be a good deal, but when it was negotiated, not. which I was not responsible for, I concluded it wasn't. I wrote about that. So is it President Obama's fault? Is it President Obama's fault? even announced. Look, there Secretary, are Secretary, is it President there, Obama's fault? There are because he's pushing it. There are different views about what's good for our country, our economy, and our leadership in the world. I think it's important to look at what we need to do to get the economy going again. That's why I said new jobs with rising incomes, investments, not in more tax cuts that would add five trillion dollars to the debt. But you have but no in, plan. Okay, oh, I do. Secretary, in fact, you I have no plan. A book about it. It's called Stronger Together. You can pick it up That's tomorrow about you, folks. at We're the gonna... bookstore or at an airport near you. We're gonna move to. Uh, but it's because I see this. We need to have strong growth, fair growth, sustained growth. We also have oh, to Lord look at Lord how we Lord help Lord. families balance the responsibilities at home and the responsibilities at business. So we have a very robust set of plans and people who have looked at both of our plans have concluded that mine would create 10 million jobs and yours would lose us three and a half million jobs and explode you are the going debt, to approve one of the biggest tax cuts in recession. history you are going to approve one of the biggest tax increases in history here they go <laughs> you are going to drive business out your regulations are a disaster and you're going to increase regulations all over the place and by the way my tax cut is the biggest since Ronald Reagan. I'm very proud of it. It will create tremendous numbers of new jobs. Regulations. You are going Trump. to regulate these businesses out of existence. I go around, Lester, I tell yeah, you, I mean, I've I been all you over. Your point and when I go like around, Trump. despite the tax cut, the, thing, the things that business as and people like the most is the fact that I'm cutting regulation. To be honest, I don't trust these two nutheads. You have regulations on top of regulations, and new companies cannot form, and old companies are going out of business, and you want to increase the regulations and make them even worse. I'm going to cut regulations, but okay, I'm worry. going to cut worry. taxes <laughs> big league, and you're going to raise taxes big league. And claims. And so Facts. we have taken uh, the homepage of my website, HillaryClinton.com, and we've turned it into a fact checker. So if you want to see in real time uh, what the facts are, please go and take a look. And I think it's time that the wealthy and corporations paid their fair share to support this. Well, country. you just opened the next segment. Well, look, could I just finish? Actually, I, I think I, I, think did, I they, should. You, I'm going to you give go you a to her website. Right here, you you gotta take a look at her segment. website. She's going to raise taxes $1.3 trillion. Mr. Trump, I'm and look at her website. You know what? It's no different than this. She's telling us how to fight ISIS. Just go to her website. She tells you how to fight ISIS on her website. I don't think General Douglas MacArthur would like that right, too the much. Next, the next.
The you next segment, always... we're continuing well, the subject of Well, at least I about... have a plan to fight she... ISIS. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no. telling... Telling the enemy everything we you are, want to do. No wonder you've lying. been fighting. No wonder you've been fighting ISIS your entire adult life. Well, that, that's a, that's, no wonder why you're fighting. Go to the police, the fact checkers. Get Folks, to work. You are unpacking a lot here, and we're still in the issue of uh, achieving prosperity. And I want to talk about uh, taxes. Uh, the fundamental difference between the two of you concerns the wealthy. Secretary Clinton, you're calling for a tax increase in the wealthiest Americans. I'd like you to further defend that. And Mr. Trump, you're calling for tax cuts for the wealthy. I'd like you to defend that. What the that. hell? And I didn't open this up. Two minute answer wait, goes wait, wait, to wait, you. Well, I'm really calling for major jobs because the wealthy are going to create tremendous jobs. They're going to expand their companies. They're going to do a tremendous job. I'm getting rid of the carried interest provision. And if you really look, it's not a tax. It's really not a great thing for the wealthy. It's a great thing for the middle class. It's a great thing for companies to expand and when these people are going to put billions and billions of dollars into companies and when they're going to bring two and a half tr trillion dollars yeah, bring back jobs back to america where they can't bring the money back because politicians like secretary clinton won't allow them to and bring the money back like because you. The taxes are so onerous and the bureaucratic red tape so what is so bad so what they're doing is they're leaving our country and they're believe it or not leaving because taxes are too high and because some of them have lots of money outside of our country and instead of bringing it back and putting the money to work okay, because they can't work the out point. a deal to and everybody agrees it should be brought back instead of that they're leaving our country to get their money because they can't bring their money back into our country because of bureaucratic red tape because they can't get together because we have a pre we have a president that can't sit them around the table and get them to approve something and here's the thing republicans and democrats agree that this should be done two and a half trillion i happen to think it's double that's probably five trillion dollars we can't bring into our country, Lester, and with a little leadership, you'd get it in here very quickly, and it could be put to use on the inner cities and lots of other things, and it would be beautiful. But we have no. I'm doing leadership. commentary on and this, honestly, if you didn't know. That starts with Secretary this is crazy. Trump. All right, you have two minutes on the same question to defend tax increases on the wealthiest American, Secretary Clinton. I, I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Jo you know, just 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 join uh, join the debate by uh, saying more crazy things. Now, let me say, hey, there's nothing crazy is about not letting our companies case. bring their money it back into this, this country. Is, this is uh, Secretary Clinton. Two minutes, yes. please. Yeah, well, let's start the clock again, Lester. Um, let's start the clock. <laughs> we've looked at your tax proposals. I don't see changes in the corporate tax rates or oh, the man, kinds of good. proposals you're referring yeah. to that would cause the repatriation, bringing back of money that's stranded overseas. I happen to then you support didn't that. I happen, to, I happen to support that in a way that will actually work to our benefit. But when I look at what you have proposed, you have what is called now the Trump loophole because it would so advantage Trump you and the business Trump you do. Loophole. You've proposed yeah. a, an name? approach First that ever. has a that? $4 this is our, this billion is dollar tax minutes. benefit for your family. And when you look at what how you much, are how proposing, much for my family? it is, Lester, much? as I said, I'm trumped up, trickle down. Trickle Trump's down up, did trickle not down. work. It got us into the mess we were in in 2008 and 9. Yeah, exactly. Slashing taxes kind of on the wealthy the hasn't worked. Anyway. And a lot Might of really smart, then, wealthy though, but people still. know that. And they are saying, hey, we need to do more to make the contributions we should be making to rebuild the middle class. I don't think yeah, top down works class. in America. Thank you. I think building the middle class, investing in the middle class, making college debt free so more young people can get their education helping people <laughs> and also exposing their the corrupt tax their, secrets their debt of the nation college at a low rate. government Those are the kinds of things that will really boost the economy broad-based inclusive growth is what we need in america not more advantages for people at the very top mr trump typical politician all talk no action sounds good doesn't work never going to happen our country is suffering because people like secretary clinton have made such bad decisions Turning in terms of argument. our jobs and okay, in terms of what's going right on now here. look Making we have the worst Mate.